In this video, I am going to be showing you how to get up to 6 free perks, the Human Cruise equipment and infinite ammo in one of your weapons on Dead of the Night. For years this easter egg remained a mystery, until Sirius uncovered this and many more secrets so we finally have a solution. First of all, I won't say this is hard in solo. I would rather say that, that some steps are more than annoying to do and a bit overcomplicated, especially the last one. So before you start the game, I would recommend using the following elixirs, equipment to recharge your breath fires, anywhere but here, and if you have any underman walking and info inside, they can help a lot, but they are not 100% needed. Lastly, if you want to attempt this, I think the easiest method is to follow everything I do step by step and order by order in this video. So first things first, as usual, you have to activate the sentinel artifact. Then, the actual first step is to open the 6 main doors in the mansion, but you have to memorize the order you open them in. So, the order I recommend is the following. Open the cellar's door first from the main hall, then also from the main hall open the dining room's door. From the dining room open the door towards the greenhouse, and then head back to the main hall and open the library. From the library open the door towards the cemetery, and finally open the door towards the forest from the main hall. As the second step, while you are opening the doors, you also have to look at 6 different gramophones around the map. You don't have to interact with them, it's enough if you just go up close and stare at them for a few seconds. I recommend looking at the gramophones in the following order and also memorizing slash writing down this order. The first gramophone is in the music room, the second one is in the staircase between the main hall and the spoon, the third one is in the master bedroom corner, the fourth one is in the dining room next to this fireplace, the fifth gramophone is on this table in the library, and for the last gramophone you actually have to complete a little side easter egg. You can find a bookshelf in both the west and east gallery, and each bookshelf has two books with a symbol on them. You have to interact with each book according to the symbols on them in the following order you can see on the screen right now. Once done, the bookshelf is going to open and you will find the final gramophone you have to look at. Once you have the order of the doors and the gramophones, it's time for breaking some vases. To be able to do this, you have to open the Packer Punch and buy the 1897 Tribuchet shotgun from the library and pack a punch it to be able to shoot grenades with it. There are 6 vases in the main hall and each corresponds to a door that you have opened before. Your goal is to break the vases in the order that you have opened the doors in. So the first door I opened was the cellar and the corresponding vase is next to the main staircase. To break the vase, you have to perfectly throw or shoot a grenade right into the vase, that's why we need this upgraded shotgun. The second door was the dining room and there are actually two vases above that door. The one we need to break is the lower one. To break it, head to this exact spot and align your crosshair like I did in the video and then shoot. The third vase is the higher one above the dining hall and you can easily break it from the west gallery by standing here and aligning your crosshair. The fourth door was the library and there are again two vases on that side of the main hall. First we need to destroy the lower one again. Stand in front of the middle of the main staircase, align your crosshair to this spot and then you are good to go. Now head to the east balcony and stand into this corner, then aim at this exact spot to break the fifth vase. Then the final vase corresponds to the forest door because that was the last I opened in my game. To break it, stand into this corner of the spawn bridge and align the crosshair above the vase to this spot. Once all vases are destroyed, check this candle near the forest door. If it's no longer light up, you completed the vase step correctly. However, if you messed up the order, you must start a new game to try it again because in this side easter egg you cannot make any mistakes. The next step is to light 6 candles around the map, each corresponding to a door, but you must do this in the reverse order of the open doors. To light them, you have to throw red fires to the candles. The first one is in the forest entrance because this was the last door I opened in my game. The second candle is on this bookshelf in the library because the cemetery door was the second to the last to be opened. The third candle is on this small table in the west hallway connected to the library. Then the fourth candle is on the left side after you leave the dining room towards the greenhouse. The fifth candle is on this small circular table in the hallway connected to the dining room. And then the final candle is on the corner of the cellar on top of some wine barrels. If they stay light up after lighting the final candle, you did everything correctly. If not, you have to start a new game. For the next step, head over to the east stairway behind the dining hall and you will find a vinyl record that you need to pick up. Now you have to play this record at every gramophone location, but not in the order you looked at them, but in the reverse order. So in my game, the last one was the gramophone behind the bookshelf. 
just interact with it and it's going to play a snippet of the map's easter egg song called Mystery. The second gramophone is the second to the last you looked at and in my game this was the one in the library. The third gramophone in my game was the one next to the fireplace in the dining room. The fourth one was in the master bedroom. The fifth one was in the staircase between the main hall and the spawn. And the final gramophone was in the music room. If you did everything right, this is how the music should end. And now we finally reach the final and probably the most insane step in this easter egg. Head over to the forest door entrance to find... nothing? Actually there is an invisible ghost, which is pretty accurate if you ask me. However, you have to follow this ghost across the entire map. You can accomplish this by looking at the direction of the sound it makes, which sounds like this. Fortunately the route is the same in every game so I'm going to be showing you the full route. This is the step where Undead Man walking and in plain sight do come in handy to get rid of the zombies and here where the ghost is a little bit better. I also want to mention you can leave the ghost behind to kill some zombies but if you do so, head over to a location where you won't accidentally look at the ghost so you can continue the escort from the point you left it at. When you reach this exact spot in the cellar, you have to where you have to go prone and move to the sun's direction while you are prone. I I know this sounds crazy, but if you are standing up, the ghost won't move. And when you reach this spot, you will get a jump scare, some awesome rewards, and my congratulations because you were able to complete this. And the rewards are the following: six free perks, but this includes the four base perks. So if you bought those before, you only get two extra perks, like I did in the video. And you get the human curse equipment, and the weapon you had during the jump scare is going to have infinite ammo for the rest of the game. So the most clever thing would be getting the Helion Salvo and the Wonder weapon before the jump scare, and then doing an insane high ground with unlimited ammo. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and see you in the next one.